hello friends how to install different operating system like windows xp windows 10 windows 8 or red hat linux on your computer and how to use these windows just like another software on your computer here you can see i have windows xp and windows 10 here i can open all the programs and i can run this windows 10 as a separate computer similarly i have windows xp i can use this as windows xp normal computer here i am going to login here you can use this in full screen mode also here it is full screen if I want to switch to Windows 10, I can go to this tab. I can change it to Windows 10 tab. Now it is Windows 10. And similarly, I can turn on another Windows from here. I have a Windows 7 installed in my computer. And if I want to copy some files to Windows XP, I can just click and drag to this virtual machine. Here you can see this file is copied to the desktop of the virtual machine and i can see the content this is the test note i copied from the windows 7 which is my original windows in my computer today i will show you how to install these multiple windows on your computer first i will shut down this xp How to install these virtual machines on your computer? Here I am using a software called VMware Workstation Pro. You can download this application from the link I provided in the description of this video. To create one windows, you can go to this home tab. Here create a new virtual machine you must have a windows cd or if you don't have a cd you can download from internet any iso file of your windows cd here i will browse the cd image i have already saved in the computer for example i will now install one of my windows here I will explain how to install one Windows XP on your computer. Open this file. When you select this ISO file, it will show Windows XP Professional Detected or which Windows you selected. That Windows will show here. It is detected or not detected. Now click on Next. It will take some time to detect your available computer space and available memory of your computer. Here if you have the serial key, you can enter that serial key. And if you have any computer name, you can add here. If you need password, you can add here. But that is optional. You can click on next. It will automatically give the Windows machine name. Otherwise, you can add your XP you can customize here also here you, if you want you can save your file location of your virtual machines by default it will be in my documents there is a folder virtual machines so I am not going to change this one click on next it will ask the partition size you can choose the partition size that you need here I will choose only 10 GB click on next if you want you can customize your hardware you can choose the how much memory you need here i will keep 512 mb that's enough for my use if you need you can keep it 1024 that means 1 gb 2 gb as you like from here these all settings i will keep default and close here make sure it is checked the power on the virtual machine after creation 
click on finish button it will automatically start the setup of your new windows now the new windows setup is starting i will adjust to the screen here here you can see my computer is intel core i7 with 8 gb of memory and here i am installing my windows xp also it will take some time to copy these files i will pause my video recording file copying is almost finished now it will restart the computer you can install any windows if you have windows 8 or windows 10 if you have the cds you can install in the same way because sometimes if you have if you have windows 7 but you want to use windows 10 you can do that also and suppose if you have windows 10 and you need to work in windows 7 environment you can install a windows 7 on your windows 10 system and it is very easy to use also but remember if you want to shut down your computer first you have to turn off your virtual machines from your computer after that you can turn off your computer that is the safe method and you can copy any files from your main computer to this virtual machine very easily just click and drag to virtual machine and you can access all the internet of your computer you can easily switch from one computer to another computer from this tab of this software if you have windows 7 windows xp windows 10 you can use all of the windows together same time in this system i am using windows xp windows 8 windows 10 and linux ubuntu all of the operating system i am using here and my computer original windows is coming with windows 7 64 bit so i feel very free to use all this operating system in my computer and it is very nice experience also Now our windows setup is almost finished. VMware tools this is very important if vmware tools is not installed virtual machine sound may be not work your virtual machine may not connect to the internet now the vmware tools is completely installed now it will restart the computer
Now the new virtual machine installation is successfully completed. It will automatically detect the best resolution of your computer and after that you can use this computer in full screen also. Now the computer is automatically detected the best resolution for the screen and now you can use this virtual machine as a normal computer and you can exit the full screen by pressing the escape button or you can use this or maximize button to enter in the full screen mode you can go to this button after that if you want to minimize and enter in the windows 7 click on this button and you can pin this also here so it will be autumn stable here if you don't want to see this menu bar here you can hide this one so now here I minimize this one I will access my windows 7 if I want to windows XP again I can choose from this menu directly enter in windows XP also before shutting down my windows 7 I must turn off all my virtual machine properly so Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get more updated videos from my channel also. Thank you.